I load the data, get data from table slash range and Power Query editor open, and we get these two steps here, source and change type. The change type always by default Power Query has that enabled and until recently we could not really change that on a permanent basis we could do it at the workbook level but now i have good news we can in fact if we don't like that power query uh, changes the, the data type automatically we can now have a setting to disable that and let me show you how to do that if we go to file here on the Power Query Editor, and then Options and Settings, Query Options. And here we have two levels, uh, two sections. One that says Global, so it means um, settings that will apply globally to any Excel file where we use Power Query, and the other section for Current Workbook. We now have under Global, data load and here we have type detection and we have by default it comes with the text column types and headers for unstructured sources we can choose always detect column types detect column types in this situation or never detect column types i now have in my work profile session i have this set up like this because what we'll do, it will do is that it won't annoy us all the time with the automatic step of changing type. So we would get our, in this case, if I had had that option enabled before I started my query. In fact, let's do that. If we go to data, we can go directly here from table slash range. Let's see if this worked. So you see now the data type step to change the data type and did not appear at this point.